Just a second. Just a second. Agnes's eyes are red. I don't know if you can zoom in on that and see. The cornea is not as shiny as you. It's a little gooey in the middle. A little hazy, a little cloudy. And the conjunctiva around the eye, obviously, is very red. Which, she's a bulldog, so she's got a little entropion where the, the eyelids roll in and the hairs rub on the eye. So that can happen. But they look a little dry, so we're gonna do this test. So we'll put this filter paper in her eye, right to the zero line. And I'm gonna hold it there for 60 seconds. Okay. Oh, you see it turns blue as the moisture from her tears goes up the strip. So she's got five, six, seven. If we really stretch it, eight millimeters of tears. I really like to see her have 15. She's not making enough tears. So we'll check the other eye as well. So we can do a couple things for her. We can give her artificial tears. A lot of humans have this problem. They just keep eye drops in their pocket all the time and they just constantly put drops in their eyes to keep them moist. But Agnes doesn't have any pockets and she's not reliable about that. But we have um, some drops that will stimulate her eyes to make their own tears again. So that's what we're gonna try to do that will solve the problem. And you're being very good for this. You're being very good. Three, two, one, done. Survey said? Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. Where are we? We're like, the blue line went up to five. Some of this wetness is really just um, where she's a little wet from her bath. So she didn't, didn't make enough. She needs the eye drops. She has keratoconjunctivitis sicca, KCS, dry yes. eyes. It's okay, Agnes. Oh. We can help you. But you see the redness? Yeah. She's got a lot of redness in her ears. Agnes has allergies and this is the time of year. It's April right now, Corona season, but it's also pollen season. Let me look under here, Agnes. Let's see if we can get a good look. Just a little pink. So I think we're managing it well with their different medications. We'll have to tweak it a little bit, but um, she's gonna be okay. Python. It is a ball python. It says Monty. Monty Python. Monty Python. That's funny. It is funny, huh? I don't think she realized that. She Bring out today. Oh, you like suck it, suck it a couple times. Yeah. Oh. So you missed. It would have been cool. We should have had we you come in. You missed the blood draw. You did. It was pretty cool because when. As it comes out, you can actually see it. It comes out in each heartbeat. Oh my gosh. It was pretty cool. So let's check and make sure that there's no blood leaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that will be even then. Mm -hmm. I know that she don't always do this, but not here. Yeah, Bonnie's here. What is Bonnie? She's a chicken. What kind of chicken is Bonnie? <laughs> I don't know what kind of chicken she is. Uh, is she one that lays eggs. <laughs> Are chickens afraid to come to the vet? Um, she didn't seem very afraid. She was in there, very curious, looking around, wanting some food. She's really friendly, actually. She let me pet her. It's cool.
not see that on the x-ray, but it's in there. What is it? <laughs> it's a gardening glove. Mm -hmm. It's one glove. Where's I wonder where the, the other, other one? one. Yeah. Selma, where's the other one? Now you're gonna be okay. He says, Oh, thank goodness, I had to be cuddling again. You don't feel good, though, do you? And you get the rest of it up. Oh, we found it. That's another finger. We're missing, that's a thumb, maybe. We're missing a little bit. There's a hand. But I think we got enough of it. She should be able to pass the rest of it if she has anything in there. You little one will have to have fix a little one up and help. And I don't need any help for this one. Okay? I don't need help for this one. You could think of fart lick, but you couldn't think of intervals. No, because I don't do intervals, I do fart licks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Smith, that's not how you do it. Who decides how you do it? Everybody.